welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the family, and welcome back to Houses Win with Sand. Okay, today guys, I told you that um, we were going to talk about meals, foods. We'll talk about foods. First thing I wanted to share with you guys is what I'm eating. Um, I told you again about the MyFitnessPal app, that I put my foods in here at, in the morning, and... I put my food in for the whole day so I know whether I'm going over my calories and I know what I can eat and what I cannot eat. So let's look at what I've been eating. I'm going back to my very start. Let's slide the days back. Okay, I started on January the 1st. That was Saturday before last Saturday. Well, Y'all know when it was. Okay, so, um, that morning I had, I had two boiled eggs, one slice of nature Own bread, and one slice of cheddar cheese. So what I did was I made myself one piece of cheese toast, and I boiled myself two eggs. And, um, in, in the app, though, you have to, like, put in everything that you're eating separately, Unless you can find um, it with somebody else that entered it into the app saying a piece of cheese toast. So I did, I just broke down the cheese, which is 80 calories, the sharp cheddar cheese slice, and um, one slice of na nature Own butter bread is 60 calories, and two boiled eggs is 140 calories, which one boiled egg is 70 calories. So that's what I had for breakfast. So that whole breakfast ended up being... 280 calories and I've been drinking water. I don't want to waste my calories on sugar drinks So I've basically been drinking water um, I have done when I went to McDonald's that day. I had a, a diet coke So that was um, calorie free the diet coke um, For lunch that day Oh, that's that day that I was re very busy because we gave away food that day. So I didn't actually do a, um, a lunch. No, that wasn't that day. It wasn't that day. But anyway, for some reason, I was busy on that particular day. And, um, I didn't do, I didn't eat anything for lunch. So I had to been busy. Um, so I ended up having um, a lamb chop, some four cheese mashed potatoes, and some black eyed peas. I had that for dinner that day because it was New Year's Day. Um, the black eyed peas was 160 calories. The um, scoop of four cheese mashed potatoes was 110 calories. And the lamb chop I had was 222 calories. So that was 497 calories for my dinner. Um, that snack that day, I had... Some, oh, oh, I had a little bag that I told y'all I'm eating mini sizes. I had the little mini size bag of animal crackers that day. And that was actually 180 calories. I think that's the highest thing I've eaten for a snack. And that was on the first day. And that was 180 calories. Okay. So on my next day, which that Sunday, which we got up Sunday morning for church. And so I didn't eat breakfast because once we get up, when we get ready for church, we got people to pick up for church. So I don't really have time to do breakfast. And of course, I didn't do lunch for doing lunchtime. It was actually doing the church service. So I ate dinner that night. And that night I had, um, oh, I went to Hardee's. I went to Hardee's, y'all. See, I'm eating regular foods. I went to Hardee's and I had the grilled chicken club sandwich which is 610 calories, and I had a small fry, which was 150 calories. So that whole meal came up to 760 calories. Now, mind you, I had no breakfast or I had no lunch, and my intake, calorie intake for the whole day, each day is 1,200 calories. So then for that snack later on at night before I went to bed, I had a bowl of oatmeal, which was 220 calories, and I had um, a handful, of, I had some pecans, which was 200 calories, and I had a banana, which was 90 calories. So what I did was I chopped up the pecans and the bananas and put it inside my oatmeal. 
So that ended up being 510 calories. So I ended up eating still, though, even though I didn't eat breakfast or lunch, I still ate, um, I ate... 760, I ate 1,270 calories, but by me had my tracker on, keeping up with my exercise for that day, I had burned um, 119 of those calories, so I ended up the day with having an extra 49 calories left. Now, when you exercise, you burn calories, and they subtract on the app, it subtract the calories that you burn from your, um, from my 1,200 calories, that I'm allowed, so then I can eat more food. If you exercise to burn calories, you can't eat more food. Hint, hint. So the next day, I did, for breakfast, it was on a Monday, I did breakfast, I had a boiled egg, one boiled egg, I had one egg or waffle, the boiled egg was 70 calories, the egg or waffle was 95 calories, and I had two scripts of veggie bacon. I love the morning star, Veggie bacon, my husband don't like it. I I I, I, I love it, and, uh, but two slices of that bacon is only sixty calories. So my breakfast was a uh, four egg, two slices of veggie bacon, and one egg or waffle. I don't put anything on my egg I don't put butter up there, syrup or jelly or anything. It's just a plain egg Um, that was two hundred and twenty five calories for my breakfast. I didn't eat lunch that day, cause whenever I, I probably was working. I didn't eat lunch that day, but for dinner, I made homemade um, shrimp lo mein, and that was um, 650 calories, so my dinner was 650 calories, and later on, I had a snack, which was um, two cups of pop cereal, and no, yeah, it was two cups of pop cereal, which was 240 calories, and a cup of milk, which was 130 calories. That ended up being 370 calories. So for that day, I ended up eating 1,244 calories. So that was 45 calories over my intake, my regular intake. But I didn't wear my watch to keep up with my steps or anything. So I'm pretty sure I burnt some of that. But I was over by 45 calories. On Tuesday, I did... Two, I stepped up the game a little bit, y'all. I did two Eggo waffles, which is 190 calories. Remember, plain. I don't put anything on them. Two pieces of veggie bacon, and I had two boiled eggs. So all of that was 390 calories for my breakfast. I didn't do lunch, but I did have a snack of, of a um, sugar-free Jello pudding, which was 60 calories. And then for dinner, I air fried me three chicken wings. I used one, two tablespoons of sweet Bobby Ray's barbecue sauce and rubbed them over to two teaspoons. I spread it out over all three wings. I had 15 potato tots that were air fried. That was 240 calories. And all of that ended up being, for that day, I was 1,668 calories. So I was under my calorie intake on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I had, um, I found another oatmeal that was lower calorie. Because the first oatmeal I had was 220 calories a pack. But I found me one that was 120 calories. So I got, so I, t I changed over to that kind of oatmeal. And I still, excuse me, used the pecans, which made that 320 calories. I had a bowl of oatmeal, one packet, the instant, for 120 calories. And my pecans, which is 200 so that was 320. For lunch, y'all, for lunch, all I had was a mini bag of potato chips. So yeah, I was at work. A mini bag of potato chips, but the potato chips was 115 calories. I had me a snack pudding. The sugar-free pudding was 60 calories. And for dinner, I had one piece of fried whitey fish. Um, I had a hush puppy. I had some coleslaw, 22 french fries, and that came out to be 631 calories. So for that day, I ended up intaking 100, 126 calories, which is under my 1,200 calories. So I had 95, um, 95 more calories I could have ate that day, but I didn't. 
Okay, on Thursday, I had, y'all were greedy on Thursday. I had four scripts of veggie bacon, which was 120 calories, two eggos, which was 190, and I actually had a teaspoon of butter honey spread that day on my ego. And that ended up being 380 calories for my breakfast. For lunch, I had my oatmeal with the pecans, which is 320 calories. For dinner, I had some homemade spaghetti, which was 500 calories. And I didn't do anything else. So that ended up being 1,200 calories at Zach. <laughs> I nailed it on that day. Um, and on that Friday, this is the day before I weigh in, because I weigh in on Saturday morning. Friday, I had my oatmeal, which is 120 calories, and my pecans, which is 320. Um, for lunch, I had two Eggo waffles with a teaspoon of the honey butter spread. That was 260 calories. And for dinner, I had um, grilled. I had, okay, I had, um, I went to Buffalo Wild Wings. I had their five-piece grilled tenders with medium sauce, and I had their potato wedges, which ended up being 692 calories. And I had a pudding for later on the day. I had a pudding, which was 60 calories. So I ended up going over my calories on that day. So then Saturday, I weighed in, and I had still lost three pounds. So... That's what um, my first week of food looked like. So, but you can see though, I'm still eating regular foods, but I'm just trying to stay within my calorie intake. I did go over a couple of days, but even with me going over, I didn't have my tracker on the track, my movement and everything that I was doing. I wasn't exercising, but just did my walking. We went to Walmart, we went to Walmart shopping and walking around Walmart, you know, it counts those steps too. So anyway, but I still end up being under my calories for two or three days. In two or three days, I was over, slightly over, but I still managed to lose three pounds. So I just wanted to give you an idea of what I'm eating. And again, I told you I, I'm still eating regular snacks too, but I'm only eating portion sizes of foods. And you saw that I went out to restaurants and got foods too. But since that first week, the second week, whenever we go out now, I get the kids' kids' plates. I eat out the kids' menu because that kind of helped me more to um, stay within my goal because I didn't want to go over like I did for my first week. So I've been doing kids' meals, kids' size meals, you know. But um, that is about it, guys. Um... But I just wanted to give you an idea of what I'm eating. Um, I do also have things like cheese sticks. Um, I have to tell you something that I had, that we ate last night. Last night, I wanted a burger. I wanted a burger so bad. So I actually um, air fried me, well, air grilled fried me a hamburger. And I had um, the um, chopped cheddar cheese on it. I had mustard, ketchup, onions, pickles, but I found some shells at Walmart. Um, let me see if I tell you what the name of the shells were. Um, let me see. They were, I think it was tomato and basil soft shells. Let me find it. Yes, it's called Extreme Wellness tomato, basil, old Mexican foods, tortilla, soft shell tortilla, but it was made out of tomato and basil. And that is only 50 calories, guys. So I'm really going to be using the, that soft shell and substitute that on anything that I want where, um, that will require a bun or something like that. I'm going to use that because that's only 50 calories for that. And they, they come in different kinds. They had the spinach one. Um... They had the flaxseed one. They got so many different ones. It's over there by the bread and Walmart. But um, yeah, I got that, and that was on the 50 calories. So for that day, I had a sharp piece of sharp cheddar cheese sliced. I had the lean hamburger patty, which was 170 calories. 
I had me a baked sweet potato, which was 130 calories, nothing on it, just, just baked in and ate it. Then I had that extreme shell for the, for the make my hamburger in, and that was on the 50 calories. So that whole meal was only 430 calories. So I will be substituting that um, shell because it tastes really good. I, I'll be substituting that shell in for anything. Like if I want a sandwich or something, I'll make a wrap with that. But, guys, I just want to say stay motivated, guys. Stay motivated. Go back and look at my video about the scriptures, the motivation and scriptures. Go back and look at that, guys. Look at the one about um, changing your mindset. You know, get yourself ready for um, this new lifestyle change journey. I really thought, guys, honestly, honestly, I really thought it was going to be so hard for me to do this. But by the grace of God, it hasn't been. And I haven't, I haven't been lacking and wanting any kind of extra kind of food or more or what more food than what I've been eating. I haven't. So I, I'll be looking back and be like, how in the world was I eating three or four hundred calories a day? Because you be eating around in that rate, rate to gain weight. I said, how was I eating that much a day? And then I'm eating less than that and I'm still being full and satisfied. You know, I'm actually satisfied. Even with that little itty bitty <laughs> ice cream cone, that little itty bitty ice cream cone is actually satis satisfying. Because I think I was eating to get full and now I'm eating to get satisfied. I just eat enough to be satisfied, not to be full and blowing and it can't move and stuff. I just eat to be satisfied. And so far, these portions have been doing that. I have to do better, though, with my drinking water, guys. I'm really lacking on the water. No way. I got my water chart. And I mean, if I do a one bottle of water, which is, what, 16 ounces? If I do 16 ounces a day, that will be good, y'all. I got to do better on my water, though. I'm not doing good on my water. But on my chart, y'all, yes, I did it. Yes, I did it. So I'm still hanging in there. So drop a comment, guys. Let me know how's it going with you guys. Have you even started the journey yet? When are you planning on starting the journey? You know, if anything that I'm giving you tips, is it helping? If, if sharing my journey, making a difference, you know, in your lives for you guys, let me know. Drop a comment and let me know how you guys are feeling about this thing. I'm really excited, and I just thank the Lord. I thank Him so much. That his grace is just keeping me motivated, keeping me being satisfied with the amount of food. And actually tonight, baby Jay and um, hubby and I are ready to go. So when I finish this video, we're ready to go and jump on Walk Away to Pounds. Let me know if anybody checked out Walk Away to Pounds by Leslie Simone. What do you think about it? Because we're ready to go and do the one mile walk right in our living room as soon as I finish this video. So that's it, guys. Um, my next video is going to be on exercise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go live on Saturday and let you guys actually see us doing the walk away the pounds workout. So you guys can be ready on Saturday and cut it on and work out with us. It's easy movements and everything. Um, so check it out. Check out my live on Saturday. We're going live on Saturday and we're going to walk away the pounds. So, guys, until next time, give thanks, be blessed. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, subscribe to the family. As always, give thanks, be blessed. Mm -hmm. I love you to life. See you on the next video. See you on the next segment of How Is It When We're Saying. Bye. <laughs>